Hello, beautiful Half Size Me community. This is week 19 and, tw no, I take it back. This is week 20 and 21 recap uh, of my weight loss uh, journey, if you will, or weight maintenance slash loss journey, if you will. All right, so as you guys know, I was in New York uh, the first week of March, and I've been home now for one solid week. And my uh, eating habits were actually really good while I was in the hospital because I was checking in here with the community so often and I was journaling and really working on my focus of control, uh, what I have control over, right? Because we were quarantined, we were not being permitted to leave, we were waiting for CDC to get back with the COVID-19 test for my son. It was a lot of emotional stuff going on there, but I really, really adhered to my personal boundaries with food. I leaned in more and more for support and I didn't use food to cope, which is huge because that would totally have not been the case 10 or 15 years ago. So um, that all being said, I came back, I did start weighing in. Um, my weight had gone down just due to uh, a lot less food opportunities or giving myself a lot less food opportunities. So this week, my calories averaged 1922, my first week back at home, which is much, much closer to my maintenance range. Um, and my weight held pretty steady in the 157 range, which my goal right now is by the end of March to get down to an average weight of 155 to 157. So I am going to this week focus on taking a better deficit by planning my day around 1600 calories. So I gave myself a window of 16 to 1800. Um, if I plan my days closer to 1600, I should be more successful. I'm not going to the gym. I'm choosing to kind of self quarantine right now, just due to not wanting to help spread the uh, virus and to keep it as much contained as possible. So since I'm not going to the gym, almost all of my workouts, and I'll share these in my personal journal, are gonna be online based or they're gonna come from my book and my programming via um, the new rules of lifting supercharged. So I'm gonna actually be creating another uh, six week plan for myself. So working out at home, home-based workouts, planning my calories closer to 1600, really working on my mindset because a lot of our life has been affected too. Our homeschool groups have shut everything down. All the fun classes we take our kids to have shut down. A lot of things are not happening, so that means a lot more time at home. That means a lot more time doing family things, right? So we're all adjusting to this, but here's the really awesome thing about this, and I'm gonna do a separate video on it. What this COVID-19 has done is really shown myself and everyone how valuable health is. I tell people all the time, they'll say, oh, I wanna lose weight, but I don't have a deep why. Um, I don't have any medical problems right now, is what I always wanna say. And what I tell people is you have to visualize your life as a huge pyramid. At the base of the pyramid is your health. In the West, we don't actually prioritize it that way though. A lot of times in the bottom of your pyramid, the thing that supports everything else, it could be your job, it could be your role as mom, it could be your role as wife. A lot of times we put other things in there besides our health. But what we're seeing right now with this whole COVID-19 thing in the isolation, the quarantining, the seriousness of it, is that without your health, everything else crumbles. You're not permitted to go to work. You're not having the relationships that you're used to having. A lot of life stops for health. And this is why if we glean nothing else from this, right? It's our health is the most important. It's at the foundation of your pyramid. If you wanna be a, 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 somebody who does a good job at your business, uh, with your family, if you wanna be able to show up and support others, you gotta have your health in check because right now everything might seem good. But in five, 10, 15 years, if you're laid up in a hospital because you had a heart attack that you didn't know you were gonna have because you weren't taking care of yourself, business shuts down, family interaction shuts down, you can't help others because you need help. So this is kind of like what I feel that this is highlighting for us is how important health really is. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're working on your mindset around this, being so unbelievably grateful that this is happening in 19, uh, 
in 2020 and not 1918 when the first really big pandemic happened and they did not have the resources we have they did not have the technology we have they didn't have any of this stuff right we can educate our kids at home we can work out at home a lot of us can work from home we have opportunities that other people in other time uh, spots in, in history did not have so just want to encourage you to look at the positive Remind yourself this is a lesson of health is the most important thing and lean into the half size me community actually budget time Every day if you're isolated at home for social connection online You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon